What's popping, YouTube family? How y'all doing? How y'all feeling? What is good with y'all? Y'all good? For sure. Listen, as you can see, we have another Stray Kids video. Um, ever since I watched the first intro to the Stray Kids, I have been intrigued by them. Um, I think I told you guys in the last Stray Kids video, I have seen about like, I think like four or five of their MVs. And when I tell you like they are literally short films, I mean that. Like I, I really mean that. Not only is it cinematic but the choreography is absolutely amazing and the song is absolutely fire as well but I feel like it didn't hit it didn't hit that hard because I don't really I don't really know them like that so it didn't hit that hard like I always say like when I first when I heard the first song from BTS it was a good song but it, it just didn't hit but listening back to the first song that I ever heard from BTS after I know the members and know and like know their personalities and know that, OK, this is the rap line. This is the vocal line. The songs hit differently. They hit differently. So, yes, the songs that I've heard from Stray Kids are good. But with the intro videos that I'm watching of the Stray Kids, I think that it's going to give me a better understanding of each member. And um, I think the songs the songs are going to hit a little bit better. So listen, we finna jump straight into this video. Before we do that, I do want to let you guys know that over my Patreon, we just got done watching a Run BTS episode. Uh, that's uh, that's up now and live and also we have a Stray Kids video over there you know what I'm saying I don't want to say what it is you feel what I'm saying you got to check it out go check it out um, but yeah we have a Stray Kids and a Run BTS video up over over on Patreon right now as we speak so click the first link in the description down below or click the bar that ran above your screen just now and it'll take you straight there uh, join the Patreon family. I'm trying to tell y'all it's an amazing platform, amazing place to be. I guarantee that you will love it. I'm trying to tell you all the videos that I cannot upload and all the videos that get blocked over here, they're up on Patreon. Okay, so make sure you guys get over there and tap in with your boy. I guarantee that it will change your life. Okay, for real. I'm not playing for real. You know what I'm saying? For real. <laughs> As we finna jump straight into this video, this is how the Stray Kids was formed. Let's get into it. Let's go. Hey, Wave. This is Internet Nathan, <clears throat> and today we're gonna learn how Stray Kids was formed, from childhood to training life. And like I said, the choreography is there. Uh, like I said, the choreography is there. But before we get this started, uh, I just want to mention I did drop some merch, so please okay, check it out. Show. It's the limited, for show. tremendous, for allegedly in Sydney, Australia. Bang Chan. Bang Chan is like the leader of the group, if I'm if, if I'm not mistaken, and right? So. Bang Chan was born Bang in 1997, Chan. allegedly. And he's born in 1997. That makes him 33. I dropped out of college, you know what I'm saying? Community college. Dropped out of community. In Sydney, Australia, because it hasn't really been confirmed yet. He did say he moved to Sydney at a very... There's more merch coming soon. Bang Chan was born in 1997. 1997. He's born in 1997. That make him got him... 47. Huh. Allegedly in Sydney, Australia. <laughs> Because it hasn't really been confirmed yet. He did say he moved to Sydney at a very young age, though. In fact, he moved five times while in Australia. Damn. Bang Chan never had a clear career choice, but he said he always wanted to make people have a good time. Wow. And that is what led him to the 2010 JYP Entertainment auditions in Australia. How are, like... It's like, bro... When it comes to talent... America need to keep up. You know what I'm saying? I feel like every everywhere else they they become talented in these superhumans at such a young age. Or maybe it's just me. Maybe it's not America. If you would have asked me what I wanted to be at the age that they asked him, you know what I'm saying? I would have probably told I would have probably said I want to be a crayon. <laughs> like, I want to be a crayon when I get older. You feel what I'm saying? But it's just the intellect, the talent, all of that. It's it starts very early for them, and I've I've noticed that when I came across BTS, that they, they are they're they're fucking they they've been they've been talented since birth. They came out the womb, pop locking and dropping it. And even <laughs> straight kids, it seems like they they just they have always been talented. 
With experience in modern dance and even ballet, Bang Chan passed the audition and moved to Korea. Bang Chan wow. trained in JYP for over seven years, and over that time, he trained with GOT7, TWICE, and Miss A, making friends with a lot of the JYP family. Bam Bam, Yukyum, Jackson, Sana, Jimin. Okay, we get it. Uh, hold on, he said, he said Jimin? What the fuck? Hold on. Hold on, let me just rewind that back. And moved to Korea. Bang Chan trained in JYP for over seven years, and trained over that time, he trained with GOT7, TWICE, and Miss A, making friends with a lot of the JYP family. Bam Bam, Yukyum, Jackson, Sana, Jimin. Jimin? Okay. Hold on! Oh, shit. Oh. Over that time, he also created the hip hop rap trio 3 Racha, with wow. other Stray Kids members Chang Bin and Han. Bang Chan was teased by JYP by featuring in Twice debut music video as one of the zombies and Miss Say's Only You music. <laughs> so video. they like little now, Easter Bang eggs. Chan, along with all the other members, they like they like put him in is, is like an Easter egg almost. That's dope. That's dope. Stray Kids were a part of the JYP show Stray Kids, and it's so, okay. So it was a Stray Kids lot show. Different than the 16 show that created Twice. The members of Stray Kids would work together to debut. No one really got eliminated, however, and it was just a show to hype up JYP's new boy group, where. Bang Bang Chan made his debut in 2017, becoming the leader 2017 of Stray Kids. Stray Kids debuted in 2017? That's not that long ago. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Uh huh. Stop talking to me like that, bro. You're not a human. That shit is scary. Um, I don't know how to respond to that. Okay, then, then wait. Wait, please. Hey Siri, when did this? 2017 was like last year. That's fairly new. That's fairly Wujin new. Wujin was born in 1997. Okay, so Wujin. Next we have Wujin. Yeah, Wujin with his love of singing. Oh, he was thugging back in the day. He was thugging. He was thugging back in the day. He first joined Fantasia Entertainment. He spent some time there, but would leave and later join SM Entertainment as a trainee, training and becoming friends with members from NCT. He wouldn't last there either and found himself in JYP Entertainment. Wujin worked really hard while in his two years training time and in the show Stray Kids. His hard work paid off by joining Stray Kids as the main vocalist. Oh, wow. Lee No was that born in 1998. Lee No, okay, so we got Chang Bin. I mean, Chang, yeah, Chang, no, we got Chang Ban, Lino, and Wu Jin. Okay. In Korea. Hey, Lino, you know? <laughs> 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 Nigga did not find that funny at all. <laughs> <laughs> Growing up, he developed a talent in dance. Starting in middle school, Lino be Starting in middle school, he developed a talent in dance. In middle school, I didn't... In middle school, I didn't know what carton of milk I wanted. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Began his journey as a backup What? Dancer. He even made a little appearance in National Geographic. <laughs> Any one of these hopefuls could be the next big thing in K-pop. Hold on. Hold on. Any one of these hopefuls could be the next big thing in K-pop. <laughs> I know that looks like an edit, but that was 100. I was kind of confused. I didn't know what he was. I didn't, th I didn't know what he was doing at first. Real. He know would get his first break as a backup dancer for BTS on their Japanese tour and was an extra dancer in BTS Not Today music video. The, and the, the crazy thing is, I just, probably like three, four months ago, was my first time watching the uh, Jungkook's Begin live performance. Audition for Cube Entertainment. Do you know would get his first... And I always give credit to the backup dancers. It's just insane that he was really a backup dancer for... What? Break as a backup dancer for BTS on their Japanese tour and was an extra dancer in BTS Not Today music video. Those credentials led him to join That is YP, insane. Training a year before joining the Stray Kids show. Now remember when I said no one really got eliminated? Well, Park Jin Young wanted to create some drama by eliminating Dino and Felix in the sixth episode, but would later say psych and bring them back in the finale. That was a scare for Dino, but he still debuted as the main dancer of Stray Kids. Wow. Chang Bin was born in 19... Chang Bin. I see. I knew it was... I knew Chang Bin was on the Chang Bin. So we got Bang Chan, we got Wu Jin, we got Lino, and we got Chang Bin. Okay, for sure. 99 in Korea. While in school, he knew he wanted to... And he's the... He's like the the uh, the rapper of the group, if I'm not mistaken, right? 
Stray Kids. Chung Bin was born in 1999 in Korea. While in school, he knew he wanted to go into- Oh, he my age! 23, okay! Stray Kids. Chung Bin was born in 1999 in Korea. While in school, he knew he wanted to go into K-pop when he could never forget the reaction the audience gave him when seeing him dance and rap Talent. at the school festival. Talent. Chung Bin would make rapping and writing lyrics his specialty when he auditioned for JYP and got accepted. His parents were amazed and called him a genius. Needless to say, they were very proud. While in JYP, Chung Bin was one third of the pre-debut group 3 Racha, extremely talented in rap and specifically machine gun flow. After two years, Machine Gun Flow is like, like spitting fast, right? If I'm not mistaken. <laughs> Two years of training, Chung Bin debuted as the main rapper of Stray Kids. Main rapper, Hyun okay. Jin was born in 2000 in Korea, but would move to Las Vegas, Nevada, and United States when he was six. Going to school there for only a short time, coming back to Korea to finish his education in SOPA, graduating this year. As a kid, Hyun Jin was very outgoing and curious, signing up for tons of competitions. That is probably where he found, as he said, singing made him happy and music was very appealing to him. Hyun Jin would make it into JYP Entertainment and train for two years before debuting as the main dancer in Stray Kids. Oh, wow. Han was born in 2000 in Korea, but did live abroad to. I like, I like, I like Han's face. Like, Han got that like a. Uh... He got that cool look, that nice look. Like, you know how J-Hope, like, he just got that, he just got a nice face. Like, a nice looking face. You know what I'm saying? Like, the face structure just looks like, hey, be my friend, or you want to be my friend? You know what I'm saying? All right, fuck it, never mind study in Malaysia. While there, he had a burning desire to make it in the K-pop industry. He said he wanted to pursue being a singer because he loved how you could tell a story through music. While back in Korea to take an exam, Han made a deal with his parents. Give me one year. If I don't get accepted into a label, then I will continue my studies in Malaysia. See, I rock with Han's parents. See, that's what I think you need to do as a parent when you're, when you're, when your son, daughter, <clears throat> when your son or daughter was like, is like, hey, just give me time. If such and such don't happen in this amount of time, you can kick me out. We don't don't but don't kick him out for real. Like don't kick him out. Just be like, okay. Let them chase their dream. Let them chase what they want to achieve. And if they give you a time frame, respect that time frame. Now, if they say 30 years, by all means. Fuck no. Hell no. 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 But if they say, like, give me a year and a half, give me two years, maybe even three. Just respect it, okay? Just respect it. Seeing this as a fear, if I don't get accepted into a label, then I will continue my studies in Malaysia. Seeing this mm -hmm. as his one chance, he auditioned in numerous agencies. One day while auditioning for a company with his friend, they heard there was also a JYP audition that day. Han's friend wanted to go, but Han thought it wasn't worth it as he didn't think he would make it there. Wow. But his friend persuaded him to go to maybe see some celebrities. Wow. Han really owes his friend as he was accepted into JYP Entertainment. He that is insane, bro. Like, it is so crazy and cool to me. Like, like when the universe, when the higher power, whatever you believe in, like it knows what you need, even if you don't know what you need. So it, it was something in him that was just like, even though I know this is pointless, I'm gonna still go. And I think that's that's what's beautiful about the universe, man. That's what's beautiful about the and universe. For three years, Han really owes his friend as he was accepted into JYP Entertainment. He trained for three years and also was the final piece in Three Racha. Making him versed in rap, Han debuted as the main rapper in Stray Kids. Oh, wow. Felix, was Felix Mufasa. <laughs> Mufasa, the voice of Mufasa. Thousand in Sydney, Australia. Aside from his grown ass voice, Felix was a very active child growing up, winning medals for swimming and especially. When I was his age, I was getting my ass kicked in Taekwondo. <laughs> I was getting my ass kicked. Taekwondo. This is what I mean by just pure talent. They come out the womb talented. Where he has a black belt. Felix probably he got a black belt. I didn't make it past yellow. No, I didn't make it past. I think the belt that you start with, I didn't even make it past that <laughs> Oh my god. He got god. into music during that time and auditioned for JYP in Australia. Felix trained for only a year before joining the show Stray Kids, where wow, he was another year? member that was eliminated and brought back. Come on, you, you can't leave out Felix. And so Felix filled the deep ads voice position in Stray Kids. Yes, that is a real position. What? The deep the deep ass voice position? Felix filled the deep ads voice position in Stray Kids. 
Yes, that is a real position. Wow. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Sung Min was born in Sung 2000 Min. in Korea. Sung Min also spent a short time in LA for school where he picked up some of his English skills. Having a passion for being on stage, Sung Min used that in JYP's 13th open audition, where he won second place. Impressed by his singing, JYP accepted Sung Min as a trainee. He cherished that moment and still held on to the jacket he wore in the audition. Wow, that's While in dope. JYP, that's Sung dope. Min was very dedicated. He was one of the few trainees that never missed a day filling out his training logs. With mm. that determination, he debuted in 2017 as the lead vocalist of Stray Kids. Wow. Last but not least, the Makne I.N. was born in two Makne, uh, the youngest, correct? 2001 in Korea. Aside from stealing what would be my rap name, I.N. makes Harry. Okay, I'm sorry. I was, okay. Everyone, okay. I mean, it's, it's science. When he was seven, Ian was- He was a smooth kid. Oh, snap. He was a smooth kid back in the day. The child model. Starting oh. off young in the entertainment industry, <laughs> Ian would love to sing and perform trap music for the elders in his town. Learning to sing since then, Ian joined JYP through an audition. He trained for two years before debuting as the vocalist Magne- Training for two years, bro? That's Loki a long time. Of Stray Kids. That's it for me, guys. I don't think I can train for that long unless I really want it, which, yeah, I think I can train for two years. <laughs> anyway, um, okay, so look, okay, so look, let's do a little, let's do a little recap, okay. We have Chang Bin. I mean, Bang Chan. We have Bang Chan. We have Wu Jin, right? We have um, Lino. We have Lino. This is still insane to me right here. Cuban or That's team. insane Lino too. Would get his this is insane to me. Break as a backup dancer for BTS on their Japanese tour and was an extra dancer in BTS Not Today music video. Those credentials. That is insane, bro. Um, we got um, we got Bang Chan, we got Wu Jin, we got Lino, we have Chang Bin as well, right? We got Chang Bin. Um, we have Hyun Jin. Okay, we got Hyung Jin, we have Lee Felix. Well, we got Han. Okay, yeah, Han. Han is just Han. Han, Han got that 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 welcoming face to him. You know what I'm saying? I feel like him and J Hope got just that warm, like welcoming face. Um, Han, we have uh, Lee Felix. Well, Felix, a six. Um, Hyung Min. Xiangmin, right? Xiangmin? Straight kids. Yes, that is a real position. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, I hear the voice of Mufasa. Okay. Xiangmin was born in 2000. Xiangmin, that's seven. I mean, that's six. Yeah, Xiangmin, that's actually six. I mean, seven. And then we have Ian, the Machne. Okay, for sure. Okay. It's going to take me a little while to get their name, to get their names fitted with their faces because it literally took i don't he's kind of creeping me out staring at me let me get the fuck out the screen okay like <laughs> it took me like two months to get bts's name down you feel what i'm saying i mean get their fit their names with their faces like i kept getting jungkook and taehyung confused um but no this should be fun this should be interesting um like i always say though bts content is not going anywhere them those seven guys mean the world to me um they inspire me to be the best me every single day um they inspire me to chase after my dreams they have impacted my life so much so the bts content is not going anywhere um so don't don't get worried about that you feel what i'm saying um however though i am interested and i am intrigued when it comes to the stray kids right now we have run bts live on patreon and we also have a stray kids video up on patreon right now so if that interests you i'm not gonna tell you what stray kids video it is but we do have a stray kids video up on um patreon and like i said we also have a run bts episode on patreon right now um so make sure that you guys tune in man i'm trying to tell y'all it's an amazing beautiful platform to be a part of we are all family um and we all Sometimes we argue, and that, and that's fine. Sometimes we argue, and that's fine. Some, you, if you don't argue with your family members, you don't love them, and I and I and I will stand by that. If you don't punch your family members at least one time, I'm just playing. That's toxic. Don't do that. <laughs> At the end of the day, though, <laughs> um, everybody on Patreon is a close, tight knit family, and over there, I can I can post all the videos, all the reactions that get blocked by YouTube. So trust me, Patreon is a beautiful place. Patreon is a is a beautiful, amazing place. So make sure you guys get over there. Um, click the first link in the in the description down below. Um, 
and I'll see you over there. Okay. I love you guys with all of my heart. This should be fun. This is going to be fun diving into the straight kids. And, um, yeah, I love you guys with all my heart and I'll see you in the next video.